So we're at MK Rocks, A Night of Brutality at the Civic Music Hall in Toledo. This is a uh, sort of a new hybrid type of tournament where we, we bring original ideas to enhance uh, the ultimate experience, where we've combined a live concert with uh, an actual eSport tournament, and everybody seems to be having a good time, you know, so they're liking it. Um, it's a 32-player tournament where we've come up with a $500 prize, plus a lot of vendors, uh, local businesses have donated to make the winnings even better. I think what we're trying to do here is create an eSports scene in Toledo because this is an up and coming thing and now's the time to get in on it. And it's something I think it's been a long time coming for Toledo where nobody's really stepped up yet and taken it on. So that's what one up XC Sports is. We're taking it on. And although this is a hybrid tournament, there will be regular ones too. We're just sort of testing the waters here and getting our name out there. One Up is about bridging the gap between young gamers and older gamers. Because I grew up in the 80s, so you know, I don't. There's no events for someone like me to go to where I could feel comfortable, you know, in that environment as a grown up. So, seeing that we grew up with Mortal Kombat, we're bridging the gap tonight. One of the most popular fighting games of all time to the younger generation and the older generation, and and that's what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up and create just this like stable environment and a friendly, all-inclusive community. Even if, even if these new, these older generation who played Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3 don't really want to play Mortal Kombat 11, they would still have just as much fun coming out to an event like this one and doing all the stuff that we have, you know, we have all the games set up and stuff like that. So, um, and, and a lot of them even are trying, like I've had players who never picked up Mortal Kombat 11 and they're like, oh, there's an event, sure, I'll try it out. And yeah, so it, I, I, once again, like Mortal Kombat, it has just been so long, you know, since the 90s that it brings in all types of people, no matter your age group or anything like that. So. It's cool to see, not that I'm a spring chicken or an old fart, I mean, I'm in my 40s, but it's cool to see everybody, all age groups, getting together, having fun, and just enjoying themselves and enjoying the games. But, um, no, it's cool, this whole atmosphere, this whole thing. I, it's the first time I've ever come to one of these. Like I said, it, it's, uh, it's a cool atmosphere. Well, esports in general is just like, it's on such a rise. Like, the amount of money that comes in through gaming in general is ridiculous numbers, and I don't think average people know that. So to be able to have it in, like, my home, like, my hometown, it's just so cool and, like, kind of kind of something like a big surprise for me, you know? I grew up on Mortal Kombat because my parents played Mortal Kombat. I play the same character my dad played 20 years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just so cool. You know, being able to relate with your kids and your, and, and your parents like that, that's just something gaming can do and Mortal Kombat exactly, like, especially. Liu Kang is my main player who my dad played and I always heard him beat my mom when they play and Liu Kang wins, that always suck with me. But I'm, I'm more of a rush down, trying to get in your face and I want to make it really like, I want you to be scared to hit a button against me. So you can find out 1UP X Esports, there's a lot of different events. So while there's regular esport tournaments like this one, Mortal Kombat, we do retro games, we, we try to do it all because there's gamers of every generation that enjoy a different type of gaming experience. So watch for, uh, you know, in between our bigger events, we'll do littler ones, you know, at local businesses and, um, you know, check them out. Anyone can come and enjoy them.